If you've ever dreamed of diving into the world of neural networks, AI, and machine learning on your Raspberry Pi 5, the newly released Raspberry Pi AI kit is your gateway. Crafted in collaboration with Hilo, this AI kit seamlessly integrates high-performance, power-efficient inferencing into a multitude of exciting applications. This kit features the Hilo 8L AI Accelerator module, which delivers impressive performance with 13 tera operations per second and claimed efficiency at 3 tops per watt. For comparison, the popular Google Coral TPU, widely used with previous-gen Raspberry Pis, offers 4 tops but at a higher power consumption of 2 tops per watt. With the Raspberry Pi AI kit, you get not only a performance boost but also improved energy efficiency, making it a superior choice for edge AI applications. And here's my favorite Pi Pico W add-on board, the Satron Maker Pi Pico. It makes digital projects easier by adding cool features to the Raspberry Pi Pico W, like a built-in SD card slot for storage, a 3.5mm audio jack for hooking up external speakers, and built-in RGB LEDs. So, today we're going to create our first Raspberry Pi AI kit project by creating a human notification system, together with the Satron Maker Pi Pico. We'll show you how to integrate these tools to detect a person and trigger audio and visual notifications. Let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at the components you'll need for this project. You'll require a Raspberry Pi 5, the Raspberry Pi AI kit, Raspberry Pi camera for visual input, and the Maker Pi Pico. Additionally, prepare a speaker for audio notifications, an SD card for audio storage, and optionally, an NVMe SSD with USB to M.2 adapter for faster operations. Before that, let's take a look at the overall system architecture for our human notification system. At the core, we have the Raspberry Pi 5 running the AI kit, which handles real-time object detection using the Hilo 8L AI Accelerator with YOLO V6. The Raspberry Pi Camera Module 3 captures the video feed, which is processed by the AI kit to detect a person. When a person is detected, the server running on the Raspberry Pi 5 sends a notification to the Satron Maker Pi Pico. The Satron Maker Pi Pico then triggers audio and visual alerts using a speaker and built-in RGB LEDs. Let's dive into each part of the system and see how it all comes together. Let's start by exploring the background processing script written in Bash. This script runs the object detection model and monitors the output for any person detections. When a person is detected, it updates a file that the server code monitors. Let's break down the key parts of the background processing script. We run the object detection model with specific parameters and pipe the output to a temporary file. The script continuously monitors the output for person detections and updates the objects.txt file. We also handle cleanup to ensure that temporary files are removed and background processes are terminated properly. Next, let's look at the server code running on the Raspberry Pi 5, which is written in Python. The server continuously monitors the object detection results from the camera feed. When a person is detected, it sends a notification to the client code running on the Pico W. Let's break down the key parts of the server code. First, we set up the server socket to listen for connections on a specified port. The server monitors the object detection results by reading from a file that is updated by the background processing script. When a person is detected, the server sends a notification to the client. Finally, let's take a look at the client code running on the Raspberry Pi Pico W, which is written in CircuitPython. This code connects the Pico W to a Wi-Fi network and communicates with the server. When the server detects a person, it sends a notification to the Pico W. The Pico W then lights up the RGB LEDs and plays an audio alert stored on the SD card. Let's break down the key parts of the client code. First, we set up the Wi-Fi connection using the provided SSID and password to connect to the network. Next, we set up the NeoPixel LED for visual notifications. Here, we define the pin, the number of LEDs, and their brightness. We also configure the audio output using the built-in SD card reader for audio storage and the 3.5mm audio jack for external speakers. In the main loop, we continuously check for messages from the server. If a person is detected, the LED turns red and the audio alert is played. Now, let's proceed to set them up. 
Start by inserting the SD card into the Maker Pi Pico. Connect your speaker using the 3.5mm audio jack and attach the Raspberry Pi camera module to the Raspberry Pi 5 CSI cable. Finally, connect the Maker Pi Pico to the Raspberry Pi 5 via USB. For detailed instructions about this project, you may visit the Satron tutorial page. Next, let's clone the repository that contains the necessary project files. Open your Raspberry Pi terminal and type the following command. This will download all the required files into a folder on your Raspberry Pi. Now let's configure the client side to communicate with our server. Navigate to the following directory, copy and paste the code.py into your Raspberry Pi Pico W. Open the copied code using Thony IDE. Here, we need to replace the SSID, password, and server IP variables with your Wi Fi network details and the server's IP address. Then, save the changes. Next, let's configure the server side to send the detection data to the client. Navigate to the clone directory and run the following command to make the camera monitor script executable. Start the server by running python3server.pi in the terminal. This script will handle incoming data and trigger appropriate notifications based on object detection. With the server running, execute camera monitor script in another terminal window to start monitoring the camera output. Open Thony IDE, connect to the Raspberry Pi Pico W, and run code.py to initiate the system. Now, the system is ready to detect a person and trigger notifications through the RGB LED and audio interface. All right, now comes the exciting part. Let's see our human notification system in action. Attention, a person has been detected in the area. And there it is. The RGB LEDs light up, and our audio alert is triggered, all in real time. Attention, a person has been detected in the area. Attention, a person has been detected in the area. Congratulations! You've successfully created a human notification system using the Raspberry Pi AI kit and Cytron Maker Pi Pico. This project demonstrates the seamless integration of advanced AI capabilities with enhanced hardware features. The Raspberry Pi AI kit with its Hilo 8L AI accelerator module and the Cytron Maker Pi Pico with various convenient I.O. make this setup accessible and powerful. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. Stay tuned for more exciting projects and happy making.